Hello everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's Odds and Ends. If this is your first time here, be sure and subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of all of my new videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up as it really helps the channel out. And now, on with the video! Hi, we're trying something a little different today. This is one that Lori's never eaten at and I haven't eaten that since the menu has changed. We came to the Dockside Diner, formerly known as Men and Bill's Dockside Diner, but I guess Men and Bill had to sell out. But anyway, here's what we ordered. I got the chicken salad sandwich and some chips and, uh, kind of, sorry for the glare, it's kind of a sea motif cupcake. Brownie. Brownie. Whatever, some kind of dessert, uh, and a Coke. Lori got a beer, and something called fish dip. And it's, she said, very salty, comes with uh, chips and pickles and assorted vegetables. And, uh, oh, it's got jalapenos in there too. I forgot about those. But all in all, it looks pretty tasty. So uh, just follow along and we'll see what we think. All right. Excuse me while I chew. I just dipped one of the uh, house baked chips uh, in Lori's fish dip, and it's really tasty. Got a little bit of a kick to it, kind of spicy. But anyway, we're going to uh, pick up my sandwich and dig into this bad boy here and see uh, what it tastes like. Pretty good, a nice flavor. That kind of crispy onion straws on top of it. Buns toasted nicely. And again, the aioli's got a little bit of a kick. It seems like this year uh, Disney has gone uh, a little upscale on their spiciness. Alright, I finished my sandwich and my chips and I have to admit that was pretty tasty. I'm going to start on my uh, brownie now. i show it to you without the cover on it. And you can kind of see it's got... Uh, seashell on it and yeah got, got some kind of sand on there it's supposed to be a beach right up next to the water so we'll see how this brownie tastes well so far it looks like it's all icing Ah, there's the brownie part. That's pretty good. I'll give you my final thoughts while Lori's finishing up her meal. That was really good. Uh, I wasn't sure that I would uh, enjoy it as much as I did after the menu change. This restaurant uh, used to be a, a pulled pork sandwiches, that kind of stuff. Now they've kind of gone more towards... Uh, a seafood vibe uh, with the, the fish dip that Lori got there also was a, uh, a shrimp salad roll and of course I had the chicken salad roll uh, all in all really good brownie was one of the best brownies I've had in a while and uh, it was cute with the uh, kind of beach motif anyway big thumbs up for me I enjoy it we'll probably patronize this particular quick service again so I just finished my lunch. That was a really good choice. Um, you don't want this thing, right? I'm like a dipping fool. I'll dip anything and anything pretty much. <laughs> it's kind of a joke with us, but I like a dip. So it had celery and carrots and the house made chips. And then it advertised jalapenos, like sliced jalapenos. But there were some sweet pickles on top of that. But I didn't do the jalapenos. The, the, the fish dip by itself was salty, but it was, which is to be expected, but also you know, it had a kick in it, like they put some of the jalapenos in it, so I don't know there. But anyway, um, it was filling and it was really, really good. I couldn't finish all my chips. I had a little bit of those dessert because I don't eat a lot of dessert. It was very tasty. Um, kind of a dry brownie, but with the frosting that they had on it, it, it kind of helped a little bit. Anyway, all in all, that was a really good choice. I give it a thumbs up and I suggest you try it next time here.
This has been an odd production. Thanks for watching.